you know how it seems when you first give your life to Christ. Like your new walk somehow feels almost easy. Like when you're a newborn babe, God cuddles you, he rocks you in his arms, he doesn't seem to demand much. Yet, as you go further on the journey, things seem to get a bit more challenging. Well, in today's discussion, let's talk about today's thought. God expects you to mature in Christ. Welcome to today's morning devotion with Pastor Conrad. Be inspired today. Today's thought comes from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 17 to 18, which says, Therefore, dear friends, since you have been forewarned, be on your guard that you do not get led astray by the error of these unprincipled men and fall from your firm grasp of the truth. But grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be both the honor now and on the eternal day. Today in the Word shared the story that though many of us have seen pictures of a huge eagle's nest high in the branches of a tree or in the crag of a cliff, few of us have gotten a glimpse inside. When a mother eagle builds her nest, she starts with thorns, broken branches, sharp rocks, and a number of other items that seem entirely unsuitable for the project. But then she lines the nest with a thick padding of wool, feathers, and fur from animals she has killed, making it soft and comfortable for the eggs. By the time the growing birds reach flying age, the comfort of the nest and the luxury of free meals make them quite reluctant to leave. That's when the mother eagle begins stirring up the nest. With her strong talons, she begins pulling up the thick carpet of fur and feathers, bringing the sharp rocks and the branches to the surface. As more of the bedding gets plucked up, the nest becomes more uncomfortable for the young eagles. Eventually, this and other urgings prompt the growing eagles to leave their once comfortable abode and move on to more mature behavior. In the text, the Apostle Peter advises believers that as there is a normal and natural path of growing and maturing in the physical realm, the same applies to our spiritual walk with Christ. The same way you don't expect an 11-year-old to still be wearing diapers and drinking mother's milk, as you would think something is wrong with that child, we are to grow deeper in our understanding of Christ and our knowledge of God. So we look and live differently as maturing believers instead of being 10, 20, 30-year-old Christian babes. Strive daily to grow and mature in grace. Come on, pray with me. Father, I thank you that maturity and growth in Christ Jesus is your expectation of my life on this journey of faith. Thank you for your grace to grow. Amen. Remember to make time in your busy life to become a part of the Good Weekly Bible Study Group so you can connect with others, build your faith, and learn and grow together as a family. Because the truth of life is, you can't succeed alone. If you enjoyed this, share it with your family, share it with your friends, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and page. Blessings. Thank you for joining us. Visit kingsedition.com for more inspirational resources for your journey today.